Calories versus active calories. The first thing that you have to understand is that active calories are very tough to get. Some people work their butts off, like my wife, and it's almost impossible for her to burn lots of active calories. When it comes to regular calories, well, it's not hard to burn that because what your body's using at rest, that would be your regular calories. So if you're eating, if you're breathing, if you're working, if you're walking from your house to your garage, those are all just regular calories. Active calories is when your heart rate gets into a higher zone and your body is exerting more energy. Now, if you're looking to burn more active calories, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit, mention the five day challenge or mention the belly burn challenge, and please hit the like button. So when it comes to regular calories, those are your daily active calories that your body requires to function. Like I mentioned, breathing, eating, sleeping, just the basic stuff that you need in order for your body to perform these very low energy requirement tasks. Now active is usually when your heart rate reaches over 120 beats per minute. That means that the body is really being exerted. So if you're going for a fast run, if you're doing a fit club style workout, then the heart rate's gonna get elevated and your watch is gonna read those active calories. Now the main difference is how hard the body is working and the amount of calories it requires for your body to move. Now here's some ways that you can get those active calories up. Well, you can try stimulant supplements because they work by making your adrenaline glands work and they also work to increase your heart rate. Then your natural resting heart rate for activities is going to raise due to the stimulants. Now, there is a caution is that you don't wanna do this every single day because your body is gonna become more reliant on getting that active calorie burn. So if day one, your body is like really pushing out a bunch of heart rates and a bunch of calories, then day two, your body's gonna wanna create some type of balance. And so it's actually gonna lower the heart rate slightly to accommodate the high heart rate that other day and lower it so that it's not constantly beating high, high, high. And it's gonna take more and more stimulants to get the same effect that you did before. So you at least wanna give yourself one day off where you're just completely letting your brain, your neurons, your adrenal glands, everything just rest and recover from the stimulants that you're taking. How much should you take? Well, that's between you and your coach. And if you want your own custom supplement plan, www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn and we can help you out with that as well. The second thing is that the bigger the body, the harder the heart has to work to move it. Compare a little mini, which is a two-seater, three-cylinder car, to a giant monster truck that's like eight cylinders, it's like, you know, 5,000 pounds heavier, which one is gonna require more gas just to move it from point A to point B? The monster truck. So the bigger the individual is, the harder the heart has to work, and on the watch, it's gonna read that they're burning more active calories. Well, yeah, the heart rate needs to work harder to move the bigger body. So as you trim down, you're actually going to find that it's harder to get active calories because now your body has become more efficient, but it's also dropped a lot of mass that it no longer has to carry around and work extra hard for. And lastly, your watch. Now I've seen a big change in active calories since I switched from my old Garmin watch, which had the old technology, to this new Samsung watch that has better heart rate monitor abilities. It has more laser beams on the back, so that's gotta tell you that it's reading more efficiently. So as your watch ages, so does its ability to read your heart rate. You think about your phone and your phone battery, okay? They're very similar. This is a smartwatch, you own a smartphone. Now when you first bought that brand new Apple phone, the battery life on that thing could be all day. And then as the months, as the years go by, you go from all day being charged to now having to plug in every two to three hours. And so the same thing happens with these watches is that over time, their ability to read your heart rate deteriorates. It's all technology. These things are built to fail. Okay. So at some point in time, these watches are not going to give you an accurate reading. So here's my challenge to you is that once a week, I want to challenge you no matter what your size is and how good a conditioning you are. I want you to challenge yourself to hit 1000 
active calories. Do this within the next 30 days. Now here, if you hit that target, and you hit it once a week for 30 days, let's set another goal. So if you hit the 1,000 without any effort, then what I want you to do is to ramp it up to twice a week. Okay, we're gonna really ramp this up. If you can get 1,000 active calories twice a week for a month, you're gonna see deep shredded because you're gonna be cutting fat like crazy. So go twice a week after you've done it for a month straight weekly. Now, if you're having troubles getting to those 1,000 active calories, continue to do it once a week until you get it four weeks in a row. And by doing this, you're honestly gonna see a massive amounts of shreds. Now, this is a challenge that I issue out to my belly burners, which is a 28-day nutrition program, but we also issue out what's called the task of the day. So once a week, I issue out that everybody hit 1,000 active calories. Now, if you're looking to get involved in the next belly burn, like I said, www.fitclub.fit. Mention the belly burn, we'll send you all the details, and let's start shredding some fat today.